it's minus three it's three o'clock in the morning you know what that means Hello everybody, it's John here from Knights of Terror. Now I'm out here on my own on my 3am walk, which is in fact 2am. Um, I'm at, well, I'm heading towards a place called St. Lawrence's Church which is in Rushton it's named to the church in the wilderness I won't call it the wilderness but it's pretty isolated it's pretty difficult to get here actually one of the roads was there, uh, well, the main road it's really, I haven't even got there yet, I've shit myself um, yeah, the main road leading into it Said it's unsuitable for motor vehicles. I mean, I've got the best car in the world, but I class it as a motor vehicle. But it was a bit hairy. It's saying they're not going to be gritting it. Here in England, it's like spatting minus three now. So, <laughs> yeah. Why well, are you going to go in the graveyard? What about. I'll, I'll just show you what I can see. I can see a few lights, but as it's nearly Christmas, I think they may have some Christmas lights up at the church. God, man, it's cold. Whose idea is this? Oh. That cattle grid. Oh. It's a cattle grid, be careful I walk over this thing. And it trapped in there. Oh man. And to top it all off, I forgot my torch. Put off the day charging it. And then just left it there. Okay, so, a bit more about this church, oh man, my tears are freezing up, I'm going to let Jack Nicholson in the shining by the end of the night, so yeah, this, I'll see where I'm going, i just got me, my phone, yeah, hang on, there we go, take this hat off, why am I I've got no hands to carry it, so. There we go. I'm sorry to put it back Anyway, um. Okay. Church is just up here. Heading towards it now. So, I think the church originates from the 14th century. It's pretty old. I think parts of it have been, you know, done up again. Uh, like I say, it's a pretty isolated church. I parked on the road. Down there. It's about a quarter of a mile down that way. You can drive all the way to it, but, you know, there's a fun in that. Apparently, in this graveyard, I mean, we'll get in the church, want to thought. It'd be great if we could. If that's a who we don't. In the graveyard, apparently there's a grave that faces the opposite direction to the rest of them. Similar to the, I don't know if you're familiar from the Stoke legend of Molly Lee from Burslem. Um She was supposed to be a witch. Misunderstood, probably. And 
she was bowing in a different direction, so that's become a sort of uh, a mecca for any ghost hunters. I've seen a few recently. Ghost on Trent, I think, did one. That was good. But yeah, um, freaking owls, man. I'll open it now. Okay, heading towards what's this? <gasps> okay, I'm going to turn this round a bit now. Let's have a look. Move. It's actually made out of wood. Not sure what that is. We're getting another one. Okay. Oh, I'm getting more bad. Give me a second. Come on, get him focus. There we go. There's the church, we can see the lights. Bits of snow on these graves. Ooh, what the heck, man? What the heck are they supposed to be? That one. Yeah, maybe like a child or an angel or whatever. What the hell is that thing? Look at the names on. Not sure where about this grief thing is, but let's go look out for one that's facing a different direction. Ooh, here's the church, let me show you. So, the story behind this grave, I think it was a, a young chap named Thomas, back in, uh, years ago, um, worked for some high class society folk, he was like a kind of a servant, I think, or farmhand or something like that, 
and he took a fancy to the his boss's daughter or wife. Um, and he mysteriously died soon after. Um, came ill and died in mysterious circumstances. Um, hello? Staying by this Christmas tree, I feel, I feel safe next to the Christmas tree. Mind you, this Christmas tree's kicking off now. I'm gonna go down here. He got buried in a church, not a million miles away from here, but it wasn't this one. Um, apparently, his donkey, um, his pet donkey, missed him so much that he dug up his grave. Um, and when they found him, he was lying face down in the coffin. Um, so they exhumed his body. Um, and buried him here. And they buried him here, facing a different direction to the rest of the grave. So he wouldn't walk about. Fair enough, I suppose. I'll probably put a fence up for donkeys, though. Man! Right, this goes that sort of really quite far down now, so I'm going to turn this around. Look at the church. Okay, see if we can find this grave. What I don't want to do is walk over anybody's graves. Very disrespectful. The iron railings. What if a bubble telephone is facing the wrong way? Hmm. Okay. Ugh. Oh man, okay. There he goes. The freaking ice in here, man. Anyone who hasn't seen us before uh, from the Nights of Terror, if you haven't watched them, there's three episodes out now. Uh, third episode was out a couple of weeks ago. We're just three, four, three, <laughs> four blokes. We're not paranormal investigators, we're not spirit mediums, we don't claim this, that, or the other. We're just interested in this stuff. We like having a lot like scaring ourselves, I suppose, to a degree. Um, so we don't tend to use equipment or spirit mediums. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but yeah. But yeah, so 
nights of terror. It's been good. We enjoy doing it. That's the most important thing. If you enjoy doing something, you do it. And if other people enjoy doing, if other people enjoy seeing you enjoying whatever, then that's good. <laughs> it's too cold to talk. Oh, my hands are actually freezing to the camera now. Well, I'm going to try and face you this way again. What was I saying? Oh, it's a terror. Yeah, I said that. Let's turn you around, shall we? Hmm. Hello? Sound like a bag or something. It's a little bit windy, but can we go down here? And there are gravestones. I think. Started to snow. Oh no! Okay, I can't do this. So I'm gonna get out of here. It's really cold. <laughs> I mean, proper cold. I've got two layers on. It's probably minus four. It feels like minus four. I can hardly see a thing. I certainly can't see this grave. It's massive. Graveyard is. There's no sort of footpath. There's one little footpath that goes down the middle. So what I might do. I don't want to be walking on people's graves. I feel like I'm walking on graves because, as you can see, it's quite sort of. Um, that's a word. Old, I suppose. So yeah, I'm thinking. <clears throat> um, yeah. <laughs> Your mind starts playing tricks on you. I think one owl will kick me off. Sorry, Mary. Okay, back with the safety of the Christmas tree. I'm gonna go head back to the car. Turn you around. Shut the gates.
Hello? Could have been a cow. It's gone a lot colder. It feels that way anyway. Do you wonder what that smell is, by the way? I was filming last night. Not for Nights of Terror, but for this film I'm doing. And we're filming in this house, doing this Halloween scene. Um, and we had this fire on the go on the back, so I stink of smoke. It was a late night. I've had a shower since, but still stink of smoke. But anyway, about that house. So, got a bit of information on this house. I think I'm going to knock it down. And we were expecting to go in and find sort of, you know, a crap house. And it was all right. It was, well, decent, you know. Why, why are you knocking this down? Mm-hmm. Well, the house has had 15 owners in the last so many years. A few years, I think. 15 owners. What's wrong with the house? He said a couple died there. Um, I think it was a couple of years before he bought it. Um, but it's been an ongoing thing where people have lived in there for a month, two years sometimes, a year. It's not really a long time for a house. It's a bungalow as well. Uh, and he says, He's only stayed there a few times, but he's heard stuff and he's heard from previous owners that it's haunted. Um, so we're going to stay there at the weekend. So we still have uh, paranormal stuff going on, as it is, uh, sorry, poltergeist stuff going on. Things moving, things shaking, the house vibrating. Obviously, the deaths have nothing to do with it. Um, well, I hope not anyway. These trees are making a noise now. Trees making a noise. It's gotta be paranormal. Episode number four. Never thought we'd get that far. I think oh, that cattle grid that cattle grid's coming up in a minute. So if I suddenly drop out of shot, you'll know why. Okay. <clears throat> bit more snow on the ground. <gasps> okay. So anyway, yeah. I'll see you all on uh, on Saturday. We well, won't see yours before. You know what I mean. A few days after that, probably. So yeah. John here from Nights of Terror. I'll see you all soon. For Nights of Terror and another one of these. Bye for now.